Okay, so one thing I always try to like make sure of when I tell these stories is like to make sure it's like relatable for everybody. And I promise you guys, this story is gonna make you guys laugh your socks off. Sorry, that was kind of cringe to say, but you know what I mean. So make sure you guys click that subscribe button if you haven't already. Seriously, guys, I, I think like 50% of you guys aren't subscribed, which is totally cringe, by the way. Anyways, let's get straight into the video. What is going on, you guys? My name's Bubba, and welcome back to another crazy story. Now, this story takes place in middle school. If you guys don't know, middle school was like a big deal for me. I remember I was going through my little journal of like life basically that's right i wrote a journal when i was a kid you can blame the whole greg heffley and die won't be kid phase yeah i i wrote a journal like he did i remember i was going through my journal and i found this specific story and honestly it made me laugh and i remember i told my friends about it and they said oh you should post it on youtube they'll love it they'll love it and at that point i kind of just took their advice so let's see if you guys do love it if you guys do make sure you guys click that like button and subscribe and let's get straight into it so obviously you guys don't know every middle school has like these cool events and stuff that they always try to pull on kids like for example who else had sports day in their school like come on you got to admit i think everyone has had sports day in their school even and, like the most unathletic kids did sports day and it was like a good day to like basically for everyone to have fun and stuff and like one thing i see middle schools always try to do is like they always try to have these like assemblies where like they teach a valuable lesson by trying to relate to our culture nowadays which i don't know if they still do that now because let's be real here all culture is ultimately the most like messed up thing in the planet but anyways this assembly specifically that was ultimately the most insane thing was a rapping assembly and if you guys don't know what i mean by rapping assembly just listen in and you'll see what i mean so I remember as we all got ready for this assembly that we all really did not understand when we got there was the most funniest thing in the world. Because I remember I saw a chick walk out onto the main stage with like jeans, a backwards hat, like basically the typical wannabe rappers that we have on SoundCloud nowadays. And it was the funniest thing because I remember she walked on the stage and she was acting like she was like the biggest rapper in the planet, which in reality, she was just some SoundCloud rapper in our like area. And apparently her music specifically was like acknowledging how like culture nowadays days needs to be nicer like we need to be good people blah 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 i don't know it's like one of those like super like kind raps or whatever and don't get me wrong there's some rappers that give a good message out for example like nf or you know like other rappers i'm not sure i'm not really big in the music game but this specific like person or lady i should say was like really trying to like i don't know well, let's just say she was really trying to tug her leg about you know being good and sending a good message out on the daily and i remember as we were all sitting down just listening to her and you know what her message was all of us were kind of just looking around saying like why is she dressed like that like she literally looks like a freak like i'm not gonna lie she did look like a freak and i remember the specific part where she would literally point at her dj and go drop a beat swazzy sorry what kind of dj's name is swazzy i'm sorry if you're a dj and your name is swazzy that's ultimately cringe but yeah instantly swazzy put on a beat she started rapping about you know how like there's like different types of like problems and we should solve them da, 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 da. i don't know it's just some random rap i'm not gonna rap for you guys because it's just i don't know it just doesn't make sense to me but she started going going off and stuff and it was actually it was actually kind of good I, i'll give her some credit she had some confidence in her but then it came to the main event that i think everyone was like not ready for and that she started pointing at like kids to come up on stage with her and rap with her and okay one thing i should mention real quick is that the only types of rappers we had back then was like eminem and like lil wayne i think those like the most two common rappers from back then at least that i knew of i'm gonna be honest i wasn't that updated with music like i listened to like john bellion and like arctic monkeys and stuff i wasn't really considered a cool kid back then which i think all of you guys would know from my storylines but yeah basically kids would come up and like kind of do like their own little rapper bit with like swazzy on the beat you already know like it was i don't know it was just hilarious and then i remember as like 30 kids went up she pointed at me right after and i was nervous as hell like i never rapped like in front of a whole school and not to mention if you guys do go back to my old videos and you guys saw the videos of me like you know and my crush in middle school yeah let's just say i was not rapping in front of my crush like no way jose but she pointed at me and she was telling me to come up and you know how i should have confidence in myself and all that stuff and i was like you know what like i'll go because my teacher was eyeing me down to be fair so i walked up there and i'm like yo yo like drop the beat my name is a rash and i like to eat i don't remember what i said okay i'm gonna be honest i was trying to pull something there thinking i was gonna be cool and stuff but i i couldn't i'm sorry i lied i lied that i don't remember the rap i don't remember the rap i did that's basically it. i don't remember it at all but it, i i know it was something like positive and stuff and after i remember everyone was just looking at me like i was a weirdo so mission accomplished she totally embarrassed me and then right after me was another kid that was gonna walk up now this specific kid she pointed out right after me was not the kid she should have pointed out in the first place if you guys don't 
don't know what I mean. I think all of us have that kid in our school or in our friend group in a way who has like no filter. Like they don't care what comes to their head. They'll say it. Like they don't give two flabberjacks. So instantly, I remember she pointed at the specific kid. This kid walked up ready. I'm not even joking. He walked up and he took the microphone from the chick and instantly just started going off. But I should mention this kid wasn't going off in like the PG way and not in the way where like you just see those TikToks where it's like the popular kid versus like the quiet kid who like goes off like no this is like seriously like, this kid was like messing up everything he walked on that stage he grabbed the microphone and he was like going like saying how he was like so okay you know what i'm gonna give my best example don't make fun of me i'm gonna slay all these yeah i'm gonna make sure they suck my and i'm gonna make sure all these die and all that stuff like i don't know he was like going off and basically he said like the n-word like three times in one sentence and he even said the word like vjj you guys know the word i'm not gonna say it on here because violations on youtube let's just say i don't want to get this video demonetized okay but he was going off and he said the n-word in front of everyone in that school like everyone heard this kid say the full-on n-word oh my gosh dude i remember all the teachers were just looking at each other like do we take this kid off the stage like what do we do and i remember the rapper chick who was like in baggy jeans and crap was running up to him and straight up took the microphone from him and said like okay guys like we need to change this up we need to make sure something people understand like what certain rap is and i'm gonna be honest whatever this chick explained after about how you know rap isn't like racism and all that stuff is totally false i'm gonna be honest i think like nowadays if we don't hear a so like a rap song with the n-word in it it's not even considered like a full-on rap unless it's like a white rapper like eminem i don't know let's just say things really changed okay but yeah it was just funny how she was like explaining how like you know it's not good to be racist and stuff and how you know it's good to be a good person in their own way let's just say she was giving her message again like she was supposed to do and yeah let's just say all the kids that came up was rapping with her like instantly went back and sat down on, on the ground dude it was the funniest thing and i remember after the assembly as we all got up and were leaving i saw this one specific kid that did the whole you know n-word rap or said the n-word in front of the whole school it got pulled to the side and like was talked to about you know being a good kid and stuff and you know he was like pulled aside by like every teacher and like was sat in the office and let's just say his parents had to go pick him up after school other than that though that was like the most insane assembly i've I've ever been to and to this day i'll always remember it because it was just the funniest thing like i love how kids nowadays try to like become rappers on soundcloud and stuff and you know even though they full-on put auto-tune on their voice and try to act all cool covering their faces and instagram photos and stuff i'm gonna be honest it's just hilarious seeing like where they're gonna be and like you know how they do things anyways guys that's it for the story make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe if you guys haven't already seriously i love you guys to death thank you guys so much for 50,000 subscribers follow me on all socials in description below and i'll see all you dudes in the next video